Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel here, WDT High Performance. Today, it's an update about uh, 2013 5.7 with the Gen 3 Elbrock Hemi Heads. So yesterday, I just put these on and I put the bolts in to bolt it up, make sure, you know, stay on here, you know. I'm using the old gaskets for now. Uh, I will be putting new gaskets on. Don't worry, people. I'll be putting new ones on. And I'll be putting new high-performance bolts on, too. But right now, I'm using old ones for now to do measurements of the push rods. Because when I put the push rods in, I gotta make sure it'll be the right size because I'm running a 274 cam, and this is a new Edelbrock head. So I just wanna make sure I have a you know, the right size for the engine block here. So yeah. So we're gonna put everything back together on here, just for temporary, to to measure, see how the um, push rods are. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing later on. So for you guys to see, I will show you the high performance bolts I got for this. These are the bolts I got. I got these from Summit Racing. These are for the, you know, Hemi heads. They give you the torque specifications. And detail stickers and to put on the bolts and here are the washers more washers they give you 20 all together this is for both sides of the engine and they give you 10 of these 10 of these little ones right here it goes on top of the, on the engine, you know, and the heads. So yeah, that's what they give you. They give you all this, the washers, and the little washers, and all this little happy stuff. And cool for the stickers from Summit Racing. And here's the part number. So you can type it in, look it up for at Summit Racing. And made in America. Now back to the engine. So you can get these Autobrock heads. I got mine, this Gen 3 Hemi. All Brock heads for the 2013 5.7. They start from 2009 to 2000, I believe, 14. Um, don't correct me on that. Just go to um, Summit Racing and take a look at the Gen 3 Edelbrock Hemi heads. And you can go and find that. So yeah, this is this update for the video for you guys to see what I'm doing. And this side over here, I am waiting for my other um, Edelbrock Gen 3 Hemi heads coming from Summit Racing. Right now they're on back order right now. Um, yeah, if you guys can make an order, please make order now. And because the waiting list is going to be much longer right now, but... Um, it's best to get it in and wait because it's better to do it now and then be sorry later. But anyway, yes, they should be coming in pretty soon from Summit Racing. So I'll have this side done. So, yeah. Again, we'll do the measurements for this here for the push rods. 
So I got the tool from Summit Racing to does the measurements for the push rods. And I can show you those um, push rods um, tool to does the measurements. I will show you. Here they are. So this is the part number right here. You can go look that up at uh, Summit Racing. And here's the other one. So you get the, the large push rods and the small push rods. These are made for measuring the length of your push rods for your engine. This is, this is for a Hemi engine, so I'll just let you know. So you gotta look for ones for Hemi or Ford or Chevy, depends whatever vehicle you're doing, so yeah. It's just a small push rod, um, does the measurements. If we can get this thing to twist. You, you twist by measurements. So yeah, so that's the small one. And I'll show you the big one. Here's the bigger push rod tool to does the measurements. And you just, again, twist. And you can tell by what size you need. Once you get to the size you need, you measure it. And that is it. So let me just back away. Again, you can get it, this from Summit Racing. And this tool is for only for a uh, a Mopar engine, you know, Hemi engines. And they do get them for Ford engines and Chevy and any other kind of engine out there you want. They will definitely help you try to track it down and get one. So yeah. So now you know what I'm doing. And like I said, this is a update on the 2013 5.7 Hemi engine build. And I will put in the link on the bottom for the Elbrock heads, the Gen 3 Elbrock Hemi heads. And I will put a link down below for those push rods uh, tool to measure how long your push rods you need. And I will do that for you guys, no problem. And sorry it takes me a while to post another video or a month, whatever. It takes me because, you know, I gotta take care of my family. My mom has cancer. My son Christopher comes first. My family comes first. So, an engine's not really that important to me. My family is number one. So my son is number one. My fiance, soon to be wife, is number one. And especially my mom. She is number one because she has cancer. So, this will get done soon. I'm about done with the engine already. If you guys can't see it, then there's something wrong. But anyway, of course you guys can see it because look, it's already put together. Halfway, almost done, put together. So I really appreciate you all watching my videos and watching this and give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I really, I really do um, appreciate the um, support. I really do. And like I said, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for watching my video. And thank you for subscribing to my channel and hitting like. And if you're new to my channel, please, please hit like. And please subscribe to my channel and please click on the bell on the side there for more notifications on my YouTube channels. You get more updates on the 2013 5.7 Hemi engine built. And please join us on Facebook. The group is called Wicked Dodge Toys. We love to have you. We're a big, happy Mopower family. If you don't have a Mopower, you got a different kind of car, like a Ford or a Chevy, 
doesn't matter. I accept you all because you know what? We're all muscle car fans. Welcome to the Brotherhood of Muscle. So thank you. And you all have a good day and take care. Peace.